Hi, the topic for today's video is data visualization using pandas. Before starting the video, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell notification icon to never miss out on our videos. Now let's see how can we perform data visualization on a data frame using pandas library. Now let's import pandas as pd and let's import pyplot from matplotlib as pld. So we have imported pandas and matplotlib libraries. Now we have our data frame with 215 rows and 15 columns. Let's see our head and pd.crosstab. So what is crosstab? So crosstab is a function which takes series of a data frame or a column from a data frame and then convert it to a data frame using pivot. So a series is taken from a data frame and converted to a data frame using pivot. Then we can use that pivoted data frame to plot different plots using pandas. Now as here you can see the first value which we pass to the cross tab will be converted as the axis and the columns will be converted as the column header. Now here we have the column header as count and gender as the index and when we use dot plot function on it and then give kind is equal to bar so we have a bar plot now and we have bar plot of females of 76 and males with 139 count. Now if you want a horizontal bar plot then we can pass in bar h, h means horizontal so we have a horizontal bar plot. Then here you can see df gender is the axis and df hscs is the column header. Here column header is arts, commerce and science and females and males studying in particular arts, commerce and science. And now let's plot a bar plot out of it. So you can see we have a bar plot with a legend which says blue is for arts, orange is for commerce and green is for science. Now let's use pd.crosstab and the same function and when we use stack is equal to true this three blue, green and orange will be converted or will be used in the one bar only. This is, this is shown in the one bar plot only and this does not use two bar plot, three bar charts over here. We have only one which is stacked into one. These three are stacked into one when we use stack is equal to true. Now df salary. Now the salary column we use and plot a histogram out of it. And when we use plt.grid, so we have a grid behind it, our plot. So you can see the lines which is grid. Then if we have to change the figure size, we can do it by fix size is equal to any size we want then the same plt.grid is equal to true so we have changed the size of our figure now if you want to give any size we can do that then if you want a box plot which gives the outliers in our data set then we have this outliers then if you want the single outlier then we pass in the column of which we want a box plot then we can have a single box plot then if you want to plot a scatter plot then we have to give kind is equal to scatter and in and at x axis we have sscp means ssc percentages and in y axis we have salary column so let's see what is our scatter plot looks like you can see we have only a one outlier or a, only one student who earns more than 9 lakhs and has percentage 60 or in between 60 and 65. So this is an exceptional case and many of this lie between 20,000, 2 lakhs to 4 lakhs. So we have a cluster over here. Now let's see how we can use and now let's see arts is equal to 11 and commerce is 113 science is 91 so we have taken hscs column which is stream column and the stream is the index and the count as the column head 
So you can see the column count is column head and this is pivoted data frame and let's use it to make a pie chart. Now see this column or this gives us the pivoted data frame and this count tells it and then this count tells that make a pie chart using the the single values the one and single values in our data frame and you can see a pie chart you can also pass shadow is equal to true then we have a shadow around it which looks very clean or very great <laughs> now this is how we can use pandas to create various charts and plots we will see how we can use matplotlib and seaborn and create better charts and better plots in it with more functions applied on thank you this is all from this video if you have any questions put down in the comment section below and we'll get back to your doubts thank you